question of the day. This is the darkest lipstick color I've ever worn. Not sure if I can pull it off, you let me know. Secondly, today we're gonna be reviewing all of the mobility devices I have ever used. From wheelchairs to knee scooters to the iWalk, which I am currently using. I'm gonna show you how I use them, which ones I use, which ones I don't, which ones I'm just not good at, how they work for me, and then let me know which ones work for you, which ones you like, if you've ever used any of them, if you have any other suggestions. But I wanted to kind of give you guys a general overview and explain why I use what I use and just kind of show them to you because I know a lot of people have a lot of questions, so let's dive in. Okay guys, let's start with what I'm using right now. This is the iWalk 2.0. It's basically like a hands-free crutch. Also, please note the fact that all of my clothing choices down to my socks are gray. It's snowy here in Colorado today, and whenever it snows, I just feel like, like I have to be covered in gray. It's such a cozy color. So this works super well. Only issue that I have is that it hurts my amputated limb. So I think this is part of the healing process still. And I'm working on some of your guys' suggestions to get better padding in there right now. This works wonderfully for hands-free moving about, which is awesome. It takes a couple seconds to put on, a couple seconds to get off. It's pretty simple to use. So, so far, I am a big fan of it. I can even walk backward. With that, let's move on to option two. This is my mom's knee scooter. Thankfully it has brakes, so you don't crash into things. Not gonna lie, it's also kind of fun because you can kind of go fast, but do not do that when you're recovering from an injury. Uh, but because I have, like I said, I live in a tri-level home, which means there's like a half set of stairs and another half set of stairs, and I have to go like up and down them often because my kitchen's here, my living room is there, the bedrooms are upstairs. So I never use this, literally at all. It's also heavy, it's, it's fairly simple to like break down. As I tried to bring it up the stairs, even for this video, this is what it looked like. It was just really difficult to transport for me. So if you have someone helping you all the time, maybe that would work. I've just honestly, this is the first time I've used it since surgery. If you're gonna be out in public a lot, and again, you have someone to help you take it in and out of the car, definitely a great, um, great thing to use. And I would definitely recommend it. I've also had this cute basket that is currently broken. I'm sure I did something to it at some point to use to store things in. That brings us to option three, a wheelchair. A lot of amputees use this right after surgery and I can understand why. It's super safe. There are some cheaper options. I believe this one, we actually got it from a family member, but I believe this one was actually found at Walgreens for under like 200 bucks. Um, it's really light, it's easy to transport. Brian brought me around in it a lot after surgery because I could not crutch long distances. One issue with this one in particular is there are no wheels that I can use to like wheel myself, um, but that's okay. Similar issue with this one to the knee scooter. Um, it is difficult to transport if I were to try to move it around myself without a leg, but secondly, my doorways are not wide enough for wheelchairs. Some houses are gonna have this issue. If I was trying to get from the couch to the bathroom recovering from surgery, it just would never happen and we would run into issues because I could not wheel myself even with a normal wheelchair through the doors that we have. My bathroom isn't wide enough for a wheelchair to turn around and again, major issues. So a wheelchair is an option a lot of people use if recovering from a major, major surgery, if recovering from an amputation, um, it's really common. I just didn't get a chance to use one unless I was going on public for extended periods of time with someone to push me because of my situation. So this was great to have. I probably used it a grand total of like under 10 times and it was nice to have around. I just don't really use it at all. Option four, forearm crutches. So I actually received these in the mail from Amazon like two days ago. I have been a professional on actual crutches for 14 years. I am not good on these. And so I am trying to like get used to them, get better at them because I've heard that they're a lot better for the alignment of your body, for your shoulders, for everything. But I feel really unstable on them. I want to use them when I go to Ireland in conjunction maybe with the iWalk if I get it comfortable in time. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, I'm traveling overseas for a couple weeks. This is what I look like walking on them. If anyone is really good on forearm crutches, let me know what I'm doing wrong. But if you don't know what a forearm crutch is, basically, excuse the tags just because I'm not sure I'm going to keep them or return them yet, but you've got this part to put your hand on, and with forearm crutches, you're always gonna have something that kind of comes around and holds your forearm. Allow me to demonstrate. So as you can see, 
I can definitely move around on them. I also feel like I'm gonna definitely fall over. I don't know if you can see like the shaking in my wrists. A lot of people who are on crutches long term or don't have the option of a prosthesis but aren't in a wheelchair will use forearm crutches long term. That's definitely what I've observed. Um, so I know that they are safe. I know that you can get used to them. I just know that I am not good at them just yet. Do you use forearm crutches and how did you get good at them? And last but not least, we have my trusty, beautiful, normal crutches. They are literally just that, just normal crutches. I did add these pads to them. I've never actually done this before with any previous surgery, I don't know why, but I got these pads on Amazon. I'll put the link below, and I'll put the link to any of these items in the description down below. These pads worked wonders. They saved my uh, like underarms from getting bad rashes. They saved my hands from hurting so bad when you know, walking for the past four months on crutches. I'm also out of breath from all that demonstration. You can make them fun colors to match your hair too, which is handy. I'm just gonna relax on this for the rest of the time that I'm talking to you guys. Out of those five options, my top two favorite are definitely normal crutches, probably just because I've, I've literally been on and off them for 14 years, so I'm super familiar with them, I'm comfortable on them, they're normal, I know them and the eye walk, which I'm definitely getting used to. I'm modifying, I want to get to a point where it's not uncomfortable. That is legitimately just because of the injury that I have. I think otherwise it would be perfect. The other ones are really great options and depending on your situation would be fantastic. Like this, for instance, I think would be great if you lived in a one level house that didn't have any major obstacles. Uh, I think a wheelchair works really great, especially right after surgery, though you do wanna make sure that you focus on keeping yourself mobile in other ways and working with a physical therapist to make sure that you're doing exercises that are approved for recovering from surgery to keep yourself active. And forearm crutches are like this mystery to me. I feel like I'd be a great candidate for them. I feel like I should be good on them, but I also feel like I do not feel safe on them. So. I may try to practice a little bit more, but I have a feeling I will be returning them unless I can find a way to make them work. Hey Sadie, are you helping? You come to help with the video. Do you see her down there? Oh God. I have the worst aim. Yes! All right guys, that is it for me with my top five mobility assistance devices and some of my favorites. So let me know what you use. Let me know if I missed any that you think would be super effective or helpful but those are ones that i have used that i have access to and that i like so i am gonna catch my breath uh from that not a lot of activity but i am still getting used to being up and about even four months after surgery and being a new amputee so i'm gonna recover you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and i look forward to seeing you guys in the next video bye guys i am the most mobile this totally works this works really well actually tell me how in the process of using Four mobility devices all at once have I become less mobile. That makes no sense. I know everyone's gonna yell at me and I realize this is slightly dangerous, but also it's gonna be okay, probably. We're done with this game, guys. I just have a feeling that was about to end poorly for me, so bonus round passed.